you, there's very little value creation through ground up development. We're, we're not going to see a lot of ground up development over the next 12 months, 18 months until either rates change or costs change. And one or the other has, has got to happen in order to, uh, uh, you know, inspire more, more ground up building. And I, I think we're going to see a pretty big pause on that, you know, and, the, and it's a cycle. We we've seen this before that part of it, you know, costs will start to come down when, when right. that, there'll be, you know, as demand on materials wanes, then we're going to see those materials costs come down. And I think part of this is what, what the fed wants. They, they wanted to slow down the economy. They wanted, they wanted to, 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 uh, take pressure off of commodities, off of materials, off, you know, off of pricing in general, um, to bring down inflation. And I think that's what we're going to see for better or worse. You know, it's not, right. not, not right. the news that you or I want, but, um, but it's reality. What I would say, I think it's a great time to lean into, um, permitting. If, if you have an, an opportunity to, option land and you're going to, you know, and it's greater Boston that so you're two years away from, from having all your approvals or 18 months away from having all your approvals. I think that's, I think it's a great time for that. I think it, th those who are getting their approvals, have approvals in hand and we're thinking they were going to break ground this summer, for example, that that's a tough spot. It's not, it's not that it can't be done. It can be, I, I can still finance it. I am still financing that for folks. I mean, for some people it's, Hey, we're builders, we're developers. This is what we do. We're, we're going to do it in good times. We're going to do it in bad times. We're going to keep on going and we can still make those work, but they're far less attractive. And the reality is you've got to bring more cash in. Um, the other part of it is that you, you've got to have a strong balance sheet. Lenders are, are up and down and all across the, the, the capital market space. Um, lenders are going to be or are much more critical of um, of, who, of sponsors, of their balance sheets. They want to see more liquidity than they were requiring. They want to see mm -hmm. greater net worth. They're going to challenge net worth a little bit more. They're going to challenge, you know, what values people are carrying on their on their personal financial statements for their assets and and have some, you know, there are going to be some difficult conversations around. You're carrying this as a, at a four cap. Do you, you think it's a four cap? Shouldn't this be a five in today's market, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So those are going to shift and, that, and that's already starting to happen. And then, and then last but not least is that it's, everything costs more that right. in, ter in terms of the, you know, the rate that you're paying, you know, debt, um, debt is more expensive at, at the most conservative and conventional places, you know, the, the, the banks. And with that, the, the cost of capital from debt funds, private lenders, uh, Life co life codes too, which are the, the most conservative, but but all of the all of those across all of the uh, the various uh, classes uh, of available debt out there, everything's more expensive. I, I'm seeing deals go off right now at at ten and eleven percent, where clients are thrilled. Where where if I had if I had suggested ten percent to somebody a year ago, they would have shot me. Now all of a sudden, it's oh my god, I can't believe you got that done, Brian. That's amazing. Ten percent, that's a good deal. And, and I can't, I can't get my arms around that yet, but that's the reality that if you're trying to get a fully, le a full leverage construction loan, so if you want to get to 75, 80% loan to cost, you, yeah. you are paying 10, 11% because it's not coming from a bank. And, but even banks are going to be, you know, and I, I haven't had, I haven't quoted too many bank construction loans recently. I've got one that got, that was committed last week. That's a 40% yeah. LTC at 7%. You know, yeah. 7, 7, yeah. 1, 5. And it's, and that's 40% LTC. I mean, that's, that's crazy compared to the, the environment we've come out of for 15 years, the last 13 years, we've seen incredibly low rates and we've seen, you know, high leverage because the numbers supported it. But and I, one more thing I'll throw out there is that, that lenders in general in the multifamily space will tend to kind of follow the agencies, Fannie, Freddie, HUD. Yeah. Um, and Fannie has been very clear that they are going to start tightening their policies in June. If you've got, if somebody's got a, a, a looming refi on a multifam, you know, call me, call, call whatever mortgage bank you work with, call your bank, whatever it is.